Set your butane torches to high and your expectations to low. Coming to you live from just the tip cigars in the hills of the Steel City, get ready to get your fix. This is the Cigar Junkies Podcast. Welcome to the Cigar Junkies Podcast. The cigar show for the community by the community. A forum that talks stogies, booze, food, and anything else in cigar lifestyle. If you're looking for ratings, negativity, reviews, or an authority on all things cigars, you came to the wrong place. Whether you like what you hear or not, please join the conversation and let us know by finding us at the Cigar Junkies Facebook group or emailing us at the Cigar Junkies at gmail.com. What's up, junkies? I'm Corey. I'm Sam. And I'm Jason. And we're the Cigar Junkies. And if you're listening to this, that means you are too. And what that means is you should head on over to the cigarjunkies.com where you can check out all of our latest media. You can check out our swag where you get these dope ass shirts like we have here. And uh, you can like, subscribe, share on every platform. Yeah. yeah. Short and sweet, baby. I'm Just for like it. Me. Something else you can do is you can donate to Dave and Patty, which is going to kind of, I'm going to skip over your week for a second here and ask, have you heard anything from them? Uh, I think he finished up chemo. Okay. Yeah, I uh, saw a, uh, a ring in the bell post. Yeah, I saw yeah. a ring in the bell post. I just haven't heard anything from him. It's kind of, it, I, I was calling a lot for a while, and I, I think he just kind of didn't really want to talk. He just got so sick I've of it. Just yeah. been kind of waiting, waiting it out, and, and hoping to speak with him whenever he's yeah. ready to. And uh, yeah, we got to get that happy stuff. I got to get some kind of updates so I can update the website a little bit and at least you know keep telling what where they're at because we did say we were going to do that. So you that know. would be cool. Well, Cooly cool. So, I just mess with him. <laughs> How was your week? Bam. Ah, uh, oh, look at you go. Is he like, what about? Ah, uh, it was good. Nothing spectacular going on. Uh, oh well, we had the Jake Wyatt pop up last night, so that was fun. We uh, seeing that Neil Garcia everywhere. Yeah, yeah he was in town. And he's like, hey, can we do something? I was like, sure. He's like, what do you want to do? I'm like, I don't know. Old fan about it. Yeah, yeah. He definitely has that Brolin vibe for yeah. sure. Um, other than that, Jason, how was your week? Yes, Since I worked. We're I, I worked the entire week. It oh. was it was busy. I spent the entire time at work. Oh no! I worked at twelve every day, yeah. Monday through Friday. Yeah, that's that OT good. baby. That's pretty good. Yeah, my crew missed me. They they missed the shit out of you, Corey. <laughs> Quarter. That was fast. Jingle jangle. It is. What are we? Uh, two minutes, 54 seconds into the show. That's right. I only got one coin on me, and nobody's getting it. So It's, only, it's already broken now, though. So, I mean, we might yeah. as well just dump the money and call it a day. Throw oh, a 20 cool. in the pot and call it. You know, it. I really, 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 really want to not have to hit that explicit button yeah. when yeah. I put this show yeah. up. I know. But you keep it, messing it up. And I you. keep screwing it up. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go back through the audio file and bleep myself. <laughs> Ryan said, can we get that's the world's why, smallest violin why. from a uh, cigar box for Jason? Cigar box violin. Well played. Yeah. Well played. Go, going back in... Uh, Louie, I need a cigar box violin. Going back and bleeping myself is uh, why Whoa. I've got the arthritis. Yeah. Do you think he could do that? Going back? No, make a cigar box fiddle. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure he Absolutely could. he can. Oh, that would be great. I don't know how yeah. it's You going to add it to the list? I don't care. I well, just want one. Unique. Yeah, I don't, I don't know story. how to play the violin, but I want one. <laughs> but I want one. <laughs> it needs to be in my yeah. life right now. I want one. It's the number two instrument that I would have liked to go back and learn if I could allot time in my life behind piano. Yeah. I think piano is just... Funny enough, my daughter takes piano and violin. Ooh. The are... kid's going to have no regrets. Uh, but both of my children play piano. Yeah. Um, we I... just got her started in violin. She's done, like, one lesson, and it's... Horrific! Oh, of course, it's that would be the worst one. To At least with to practice, I think. Oh yeah, that whiny little and, uh, until you figure it out. Uh -huh. With piano, at least it usually works out. Like you know, you get right. one off here or there. But here's the thing: you can mess up so much on a violin. You know, your fingering's oh, yeah. wrong. You're dragging. The Fingering, that's what... I've, I've been there. You're, you're dragging My the... My fingering is all wrong. You're dragging the bow across the strings the wrong way. It sounds like a dying cat. I was, uh, my, my, my input was going to be, be no cats in your neighborhood anymore. All the stray oh, yeah. cats would just be gone. At least with a piano, when you hit the key, mm. it produces that note. Yeah, mm. it's going to make that sound. Yes. It's not going to make that... I'm, I, yeah, that, that. I was... 
I, I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm still trying to master a stringed instrument with frets. I can't imagine going fretless. <laughs> it would be difficult for sure. Interestingly enough, hmm. one of the things I've always wanted to play is the cello. Yo, cello is like the thing that was the nerdiest thing to play when you were a kid, and now it's kind of mm-hmm. like cool. It's the most emo of the stringed instruments. The two instruments that I wanted to play were unavailable to me when I was learning uh, music. Okay. It One was the cello, and you'll never guess what the other one was. Bassoon. Mm. 100% that was hey! it. That was just the most random guess I could think of. I was going to say, what's the big awkward one? That's the bassoon. Yeah. I wanted to play the bassoon. And the reason I wanted to play the bassoon. Because it was called the bassoon? <laughs> no. One of the uh, one of the Muppets played it. What a bassoon. I think that was an oboe. That's really impressive, considering that they have no No, uh, it was a bassoon because just it was. being a smart Oh, okay. Player. I was going to say, uh, one of the Muppets played the bassoon, and I thought it was a cool instrument. Yeah. So how was your week? Ooh, my week was really good. It was a really good week. So uh, finally, after much edging, we had the, the, the climax that we were waiting for. So yeah, Jason's, Jason's face is good. Yeah, I know, I know. In retrospect, not the greatest of analogies. No. However, okay, let, let me preface this by saying I am horribly impatient when it comes to gift giving. You Terribly. Are, you are horribly impatient when, when it comes, comes to, to mo- anything. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's, that, that's just horribly impatient. Just left it at that. I accept that. Uh, no, so I once gave my wife a Christmas present on Thanksgiving. Um. Yeah, that's, but you had like a whole justification backstory yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. That, that doesn't count. But I'm I'm bad at this. So we told my daughter that if she um, had good enough grades on her last grading period, last report card for the year, she was a senior, just graduated, that we would assist her in buying a car. Okay, so an opportunity came up that... Uh, uh, my wife's cousin was trading in his car that he owned for 10 years, like the whole life of the vehicle. And he was like, man, they ain't going to give me anything for this. It's a dealership. I'll give you a real sweet price. I mean, really cheap. I bought this car from him for it. And uh, so we did it way ahead of, like, the grades and all that stuff. And uh, I've been working on it for yeah, – I worked on it for a couple weeks, had it done, and it's been sitting hiding at my in-law's house for two weeks. And i just been dying to give it to her. So uh, there are very few moments in your life where everything comes together exactly the way that you plan in your mind. But this was a moment that did. The plan was we were going to leave for my daughter's graduation, walk down the driveway, have a little quick, hey, which vehicle are we going to take? And then I would turn to my daughter and throw her a key and say, why don't you just drive your car? And she would turn and see her car sitting at the bottom of the driveway with a big bow on the hood and it was perfect perfect she she cried we got a and Shannon took an incredible video of it and long story short I will never have another bad day in my entire life because all I have to do is watch this video of my daughter receiving her car on graduation good. day and everything else will not matter um, it, it was awesome so just just to clarify, real cheap car. Like doesn't matter, it's a car. Yes, yes, yes. It's a perfect but, car but, for an eighteen year old. But I hear people it's got at work in a steering wheel. <laughs> even and if seat it's belts. If it only had one seat, that that's even better. Right. Hey. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> everybody's like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Here here's a, here's the thing though, like if you don't know my kid, my kid is like the most responsible kid. She is the best kid. She has been self-reliant, self-sufficient, self-motivated. Like, we haven't had to parent her since she was 12 almost. You know what I mean? So, like, if there was ever a kid that deserved it, it's her. And, like, I hear guys that are, like, at the mill going, like, oh, my kid's turning 16. I'm, I'm shopping for cars. And, you know, I've heard of BMWs and all kind of, oh, like, yeah. I'm going to buy this new, new, new this, new that. And I'm like... Kid don't even have a license yet. Yeah. Like, what are you doing, man? Like, that's not us. It's but see, not a spoiled But kid. those guys, they don't do that for the kid. They no. do that so they can tell everybody that they bought the kid the new Beamer. Like, yeah. that's 100% selfish, not Th- selfless. Yeah, this was, this was, like, to us a big accomplishment to be able to achieve this 
And, you know, as a parent, you're just oh, yeah. trying to give your kid the best life, right? And so that was, that was the motivation, was to be able to do something great for a great kid. And uh, for it all to come together as well as it did is, is pretty spiffy. So, um, yeah, it's great. I'm oh, not going to yeah. linger on it too long. Just It was, it was amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Um, loved it. And, uh, yeah, it went real well. But uh, let's let's go ahead and talk about the cigar that we're smoking today, Jason. If you please, the uh, take your sip for your coffee. I'll wind it up. This uh, cigar is brought to you by Just the Tip Cigars. It's time for the cigar of the week, brought to you by Just the Tip Cigars. Are you looking for the best selection of boutique cigars? Do you want the tried and true legacy brands that are synonymous with the cigar lifestyle? Do you want luxurious cutters, lighters, and other accessories? Do you want to relax in the most comfortable cigar lounge in the Berg? Then you want Just the Tip Cigars. Conveniently located in the Bavarian Village Shopping Center in South Park, Pennsylvania, Just the Tip Cigars has been tailor-built to your smoking needs. Whether you visit in person or on the web at justthetipcigars.com, when it comes to cigars, Just the Tip is the whole package. You know, what's funny is I was listening to that little advertisement that you did there. And when you had said in the advertisement, the most comf- comfortable place in the Berg, I kind of thought about that for a second. And really, as far I've been to several cigar shops around here. and <laughs> He's like, count them, several. <laughs> Enough that I'm not counting them. <laughs> right. But anyhow, like your place, as far as like a cigar lounge goes, probably the best one I've ever been to. Appreciate it, man. If you really want to give me the credit, I wrote that ad before this place before existed. Before this place was here. I know. Yeah. I know. I knew. I knew. Because, you know, what, one of the coolest things about that is I was able to live vicariously through you <laughs> when you were making the place, right? And so it was really like, hey, man, he's achieving the dream, which is now his nightmare. Yes. Uh, it, it's a dream when you have it once. Whenever you live it every single day, that dream is a little less good, you know? Um but I, I got to, to, to be like, I can't say every time, but, but I think a lot of the times I was the first guy that was brought in for like, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think yeah. about that? Sure. And that was super cool, man. I'm like, I this imagine. is awesome. Like, I don't have to risk my money. I don't have to take out no loans. I, I you know, I just I just get to, to have some say, you know, and it was it was pretty dope. And I appreciate that. Hell yeah, you, man. By the way. I, I'll tell you what. I got to help say, Sam. Hang his bathroom door. So that's that's <laughs> yes. really all I'm that worried is the about. Most, that is the second most important I, door in the place. I actually have no recollection of that. You don't remember you me? Really? Yeah, I helped you hang that door. He uh, was Jason walked in and he's like, "Okay, this is going to be my home right here. Uh, this is where I'm going to spend the most." It was time. the day we did that podcast with Jim. Mm. When you guys did the that. live while I you was had, on, yeah. I was on vacation. the door sitting here, and yeah. you're like, I don't want this stupid door sitting here. I was like, hey, Sam, let's hang let's it. Let's hang it. Yeah. yeah. And you were like, all right. Okay, let's go. It, it, that was like I almost, do remember now. almost exactly a year ago, because I was in Maine, I imagine, at the time, which is yeah. why we didn't have a proper podcast that week. And uh, I was up hanging out in Maine with, with you know, a nice 67 degrees <laughs> for the high all week. It was weird. Some, but, some uh, lobsters. So let's talk about the cigar. Yeah. I think we've we've bird walked enough. Cigar of the week is the Oliva Siri V 135th anniversary. This is a five and a half by 54 Perfecto with an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper and a binder and filler from Nicaragua. Now, the reason that I wanted you to have a full one to show to the camera for the kids yep. is because... I saw this cigar, and all I could think of is peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. Yep. And I was thinking this, this cigar would pair really well with the peanut butter and jelly before I even lit it because of the shape. And, I, and No, no, I get it. Yeah. I get it. It looks like a baseball bat, man. And, and Jason says, like, this cigar is backwards. And to me, it is. Yes. I, I would prefer to smoke out of the short end, not the fat end. Um, insert. Be really hot. Uh, but... That was what I thought of. It's like, this thing yeah. looks like a baseball bat. We need some peanut butter and jellies up in this mofo. We, so. You've smoked the Milanio. Or, the, I'm sorry, the regular V. I've smoked all yeah. the Vs. And, Jay, have you had the regular V before? Probably. Uh, not memorable, then? 
This out of all the the V series, this is by far my favorite. The Milanio is super overrated. I like the core lines of Oliva, Serie G, Serie O, um, and like I think to be honest with you, my favorite from them is almost like an online exclusive that you get from the crappy places. Master that, Blend Three, yeah, Master Blend, yeah. Yep. It's, it's, I it's, have. It's, oh yeah? yeah, cool, cool. That I always think of. Primarily, I think of online places because oh, that's Holtz ran a stupid deal on them for like two years. Uh, like you could just, always get them super cheap online. Yeah, and, and I was like, "This is a really exceptional cigar for the cheap, cheap price that I'd mm-hmm. get them for." And now I buy. It's so weird how how when you have a buddy open a cigar shop, you just quit buying stuff online. And I for appreciate a long that about you. Time, that was what I did. Actually, very early on before I discovered podcasts, like when I first got super nerdy about cigars, I would read every single... I'd get the catalog from Thompson. I'd get one from uh, uh, everybody, man. Like uh, JR. Yeah. And I'd read them every single one cover to cover. That was like before I got to like finding sh- stuff on YouTube, on podcasts. Nice catch, by the way. Thank you. That was Appreciate good. that. Uh, no, I'd, I'd just read the whole, and, and that was the oil field time. So you'd find yourself some downtime. You'd pull a thing out of your yep. bag and read it. And, and I would read all those stupid descriptions and stuff, but that was how I started my deep dive into cigars was just reading the Dan advertisements. Co- yeah. Corey had, Corey had cigar magazines and stuff in his truck. I D and D books. <laughs> it does not surprise me at all. I thought this was going to be a joke yeah. about beating it. Um, no, no, no. We, we, there, there's plenty of opportunities for those jokes. That's speaking fair. of which, hi Keith, hi Whoa. Eric, how are you guys today? <laughs> 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 now talk about two guys that are beating it to different magazines. <laughs> 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 oh God! And uh, yeah. my brain just took off in a different direction. We're not going there. Just understand. You guys you, are grateful you, for what I'm not saying right now. You made a, a large tactical error this morning, sir. What is that? You gave me... I come in with one short supply of tequila. Uh, I now have three different bottles of tequila to choose from this morning. I've already completed one. I literally have, have no idea where rice. that one in your hand came from. Uh, that's okay. It just showed up on the shelf. The important thing is it's a beautiful day. When, when you sit down to do a podcast after running late because you had the, the bubble belly... Oh yeah, yeah. Is it, <laughs> that I, I kind of morning poo. Yeah, it rumbly in my tumbly, yeah. and uh, yeah. Yeah. and like, hey, shout out on the air to Jason. I rarely do this. Uh, good job this morning, buddy. I came in here like fifteen minutes late instead of ten minutes early, like I usually am because I got stuck on the potty. I was sitting there. My first shots of the day were of Pepto Bismol. Yeah, um, and uh, we came in and and we were live at nine thirty two, which I thought was yeah. pretty pretty darn good under the circumstances. So, what did we do different compared to how we normally do it? Can we do that more often? Yeah. Well, apparently Jason works better under pressure. I do. Yeah. So if you come in here with a lot of time to spare, he'll hang out over in the corner, BSing with people while I'm setting stuff up. Dude, I'm not choking does, you. Doesn't doesn't feel. I'm not choking you just to get you to perform. It's not (laughs) happening, bud. (laughs) I can't can't finish if I can breathe. (laughs) I don't don't care how she handles it. I'm not putting you under that kind of pressure, bud. (laughs) It's funny because I I imagine this is how you live most of your life. Mm -hmm. Realizing at the very last second that you have to do something or putting it off until the last possible second. And then rushing through it. That's about it. Yeah. So, like, if I really want to only have to do half the work, I got to come later than him. Which is harder than? There's a lot of in there's a though. lot of ju- there's a lot in yeah. here right now. There's there's yeah, there's a lot a of directions. Lot, right? Um, yeah, peanut butter butter jelly with a baseball bat. So, by the way, so if you're running late to anywhere, I've never done this before today, but I highly recommend this. Uh, I, I I go into the phone and say, "Hey Google, play Highway to the Danger Zone on Amazon Music." And man, does that make your commute so Danger much cooler? Zone. It was, it was, it was. Uh, it, it made it feel fast. It Every, was like you know, you're w- still watching for the cops okay? and stuff. What was that? What was what? What was what? I, tell I heard like a do 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 do. Let's take them old records off the shelf. <laughs> no, I mean kind of, but boy, that was weird. 
But you looked at us like we did something. Well, we, because it wasn't me. Well, we're, you're the only one with headphones on there, pal. Is so the laptop little... charged? Yes. Yeah, we're okay. cool. yeah that we're wasn't cool. that wasn't like bottom right corner yeah. of our screen. Oh yeah, yeah. We got we got the charge. Oh. We've got the time. You know what? It, I don't. Oh, she 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 heard you, huh? Yeah, I I think I might have been Bluetooth connected to the board. Ah, oh, which okay. I thought I had turned off. And then when you said, and so when the, I said the hey G, that you know it yeah. it, it propped up to like listen. There know. we go. <laughs> so Eric, Eric, Eric said you triggered his Google Nest. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a fun, I, Hey I might Google, have to do that set temperature future. 85 degrees Yeah So, <laughs> I gotta That reminds me of an incredible of story that I So, knew. when uh, When Alexa Was a First got connected to like Amazon <laughs> You said that word and it triggered my phone too <laughs> And <laughs> So My phone's having a conniption though. Jen and I are I had my computer in the living room at that point in time. So I'm on my computer messing around doing something, and Jen is watching late night television, right? And Jimmy Fallon is on. And he was talking about uh, the Alexa service and how it's connected to Amazon now and stuff like that. And he was like, so I could order like $500 worth of pool noodles from my couch. And he goes, hey, Alexa. Uh. And then does that. And I was like, I turned around. And Long our, Alexa, short, our Alexa goes, the order has been placed. Long story. <laughs> and I was like, what? I was hoping to interject there. Long story short, if you need pool noodles, call Jason. So, yeah, Jen had to go on our Amazon account and cancel the order that Jimmy Fallon had placed. For 500 pool noodles. For $500 worth of pool noodles. Let, let me just tell you right now, that was a mistake. You can never have too many pool noodles. Those things are useful I don't beyond have a single one. measure. None. Bro, pipe insulation. Uh, a, you need like a, a softener to, between something to help do pool noodles. Infinitely useful. You can never get them when you need them. I've I've never needed. Never. Yeah, pool I've never noodles. felt the need. No. no. Oh man, the day will come. I. You'll you know be what? Like you'll be like, oh, I do have two pool noodles. Yeah. And I've never used them for a pool. I use them for when I tie the kayak down. Yeah. So I stand corrected. No, we no, no. Did that too. I, yep. Yeah. Yeah. When you put the kayak on. That. You, that's your. That's your dampener. Exactly. Yep. Infinitely useless. You're gonna. You're gonna be like useless. one of these days. You're gonna think about Corey when you're like, you know, what would really help in this situation? A pool noodle. <laughs> that's right. Eric's thinking about you while he's pulling his noodle right now. <laughs> that's accurate. <laughs> I'm, I'm very <laughs> sure. Okay. So. Uh, now, With that segue. Now, now that we can talk about the cigar eight minutes later. Oh, oh yeah. no, no. I have no, <laughs> ambi- I have no intention of talking about the cigar. Um, not bad, though. Not bad, though. Well, I'll give you the quick little interlude. Okay, so I went on a mandate the other night. Okay. Not like yours. We didn't end up lady in the tramping the next morning. Um, which, by the way, everybody has now seen that video. Yes. It has been my, and their my brother. life's goal. To, to make sure that everybody that's ever worked with you or RJ um, and, and all the folks that don't know who you are have seen it. Uh-huh. So, congratulations. Thanks. Um, but, <laughs> so, who is the most beautiful man you can think of in your mind that you know personally that isn't Chris I w- Hemsworth? I was going to say that I know personally because I was going to yeah. go with whoever blends... Uh, Okay, uh, who, Drew who you know cigars. personally? Oh, you're talking about uh, that. Willie Herrera is a good. Oh my dude. God, he is a good he, looking he, guy. Okay, that's that's good looking Jeff on steroids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but good looking Jeff. You know, yeah. we all look up to the guy. Sure, you know, he's because like he's a very attractive man for, for his age. That's holy pretty cow. pretty man. You know, he's 20 years older than I am. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no. Plus a little bit. Yeah, no, 20 years. He's more than 20 years. No, I don't yeah. think so. He isn't 60 yet. I I'm he 39. He's oh. 59. I thought he hit it. My okay. bad. It's 20 on the on the nose. So Jeff has been, like, for some reason this year, relentlessly texting me, like, hey, you coming to this? Hey, you going to that? Hey, am I going to see you here? It's always, I, I can't. You know what I mean? Like, I got stuff going on. So 
this weekend, my wife went to camp for ladies' weekend. Just, oh, yes, just the ladies. ladies. And Uncle, Uncle already ended up going mm-hmm. up last night. They made him wear his kilt. They're like, if you're going to be up here with us, you've got to at least have a skirt on. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I, I thought that was reasonable. Condone that behavior. Yeah. yeah. Right on. So, so, uh, What's up, Chris Scales? I hit up the, the lovely Chris Scales' husband and say, hey, buddy, what, I got nothing this weekend, man. Like, the wife's away. What, what's popping? He's like, nothing. But come on, dude. You, you're always trying to get me to come do stuff when I can't. Now I have a whole weekend open. There's nothing to do. He's something. like, well, we can make plans. We could do something. I said, okay, cool. Like, you ever been to HOF, House of Feruza? He says, no. So why don't you come out this way? We'll go to House of Feruza. I offered to cook. He didn't want to do that. You, you guys will appreciate this. We went to dinner at BJ's. And uh, it was good. It was good. Always good. BJ's can't complain. You know, never complain about it, PJs. Which, ironically, he did again the next night with his wife. Nice. But I got there first. That's, I'm just going to put that out there, Chris. He, we, we, we had BJs before you. Um, <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we go, uh, go out to dinner, go over to HOF, have a great time, play some pool. Over to Evan and his uh, lady friend came eventually. We were, we're hanging out there. And then Jeff's like, ready to roll. Ev's like, I will not give you a ride home. Like, Man, it's early. Come on. Uh, I slept in. Give me a break. No, no, no. We won't ride you home. So Jeff takes me back to my place. Wait, which, wait, wait, wait. Back up. They rode together. Ten seconds. More okay. They rode together. Gotcha. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, understand. Yeah. I'm like. So, so, dude, there's how did we? It was go, in the context. It was how there, did we go from one to slobbering drunk? Uh, it was the second tequila. Okay, um, that, that, that I think that's the math. So, so ironically, reminds me very much of a comedy bit that I saw the other day from this this funny comedian. This black guy is talking about how he was over playing pickup basketball and how he accidentally went on a gay date. He's like. This guy didn't follow the rules. He didn't sound gay. He talked like I did. And, like, was like, we, we, he was super tall when we were playing basketball, and he was, like, amazing. He's like, yes, dude, you're the best. This guy asked me if I want to go to the Lakers game. I was like, hell yeah. He picks me up, opens the door for me. I was like, that's a little wild, but, like, this is really dope. And takes me. But, and, and we get there, and it's floor seats, and, and he's like, whatever you want. Get whatever you want. And he's like, I'm looking at this menu. They brought me a menu with the basketball game. And it wasn't cheap. And, and I was like, no, I don't know. He's like, get whatever you want. It's on me. He's like, oh, you, you're it's my best friend. Okay, order him whatever. Gets back to, like, the guy drops him off at the end of the night. And, like, he goes in for the hug. But but it was like the he was going in for this, but the guy went for the full hug. And he's like, that's weird, but you're cool. Fine. It turns out he was on a gay date and didn't know it. I have a feeling he tells that story better than you do. Oh, way better. Okay. Way more better. Just checking. But, but to be fair, I have to condense it for time. This is true. So, anywho, Jeff comes over. I was like, I'll cook, bro, because I'm trying to save the money. He's like, no, it's, you know, whatever, but, but let's go out. I'm like, okay, cool. So, I'm like, we drive in separate. He's like, no, 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 jump in with me. First time I rode in a Jeep with no doors, and it was chilly for that, yeah. I would say. So... We go to HOF. He, he, you know, long story short, he drives me home. I was like, "What are you doing now?" Because you know, he he was going back. There's this guy a mile from his house that has like a bar in his basement. And when I say a bar, his you go bar. down and it looks like you are in a a pay, like a paid bar. Like there's yeah. a lot of things you can have in a home bar, like a tap. That all makes sense. That all tracks a lot of alcohol selection. This guy's got a cooler with the glass door. Yep. Full of fully stocked of different types of beers, and I'm like, okay, this is he's ready place, yeah. And um, so we're hanging, and uh, I, like I followed it at 40 minutes back to Jeff's house because I wasn't ready to hang it up yet. So I follow him back to to his neighborhood, and so we end up hanging in this place. A lot of people sp- had split like right as we got there, but there was a few dudes left, and Chris and Jeff, and it was cool. And this one guy was, like, really cool. And we were, like, talking and traded phone numbers. I'm like, this guy's all right and stuff. He's like, I got an identic memory. It, and I was like, okay, so, like, like Howard, for, like, I wasn't ready to give him all the credit. I'm like, Howard from Big Bang Theory? He's like, no, I'm like, Sheldon. I'm like, oh, okay. 
He's like, I got an 80% eidetic memory. I'm like, I don't think you know what that means. Eidetic memory rem- means you remember everything, bro. If it's 80%, I don't think, I don't think don't we qualify. define that word the same way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, we're sitting there having the last few drinks, and I'm getting kind of ready to go. All of a sudden, the guy starts, like, rubbing my back. Which is like, if you're a dude and you reach over and, like, give me the death grip and start rubbing my shoulders like a lady can't, I'm, I'm like, yeah, cool, man. Like, that, uh, we're okay. This was a very sensual, very light back rub in a way that makes you go, oh, it's, it's time to go. I, I, I got to, I, I got to, I'm, 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 all right, see you guys. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm going, I'm taking off here, man. And this dude was married as well. You know what I mean? Had great listening to you tell this story was like listening to my wife try and tell a story. Yeah. Ready? I'm okay. going gonna, gonna to give you the man version All of right, what go. Corey just said. Met up with Jeff Scales the other day. We stopped by House Feruza, BJ's. It was awesome. We ended up at his buddy's little basement bar, which is like a full-on bar. It's pretty wild. Whole cooler and everything. It's, it's pretty badass. Anyways, sitting there, met this dude, hung out a little bit. All of a sudden, he reaches over, and I'm like, oh, he's going to give me the, the man back rub, which I'll take. Cool. No, no, no got central and i was like it's time to leave story done bro that's that's fair that is story, fair. story done yes that's a, to, I, I can't argue with you at all i know that's with, why with, I, with with two possible exceptions one of which tequila your fault <laughs> uh number two podcast you gotta fill the time somehow after this i don't know what i'm gonna talk about the rest of the show the night had just settled in it was 87 degrees. 87.4. And there was an east to west wind. Oh, God. There, there, was, there was a feeling of storm in the air. A storm that never came. <laughs> uh, it yeah. almost did. It almost yeah. did, but I, I got out of there say, just in time. I was going to say, you, you were are about you to sure? get stormed. Yeah. So I get, a, I get a text message from this guy the next day, and I'm like, I knew I had his phone number. I did not know that he got mine. He has and an I'm identical like, oh, memory. no. 80%. 80% of the time, it works every time. Uh, he, he says, hey, man, I hope you made it home home safe gay man. And I'm like, all right. And I didn't know how to word this. I was thinking about all these different options. So, like, so he said, I'm just, hey, man, I hope you made it home safe gay man. No, I, I'll give you the exact Please. Yeah, yeah, because that, that, the, there's got to the be details context. This, this guy's this name matters. is very close to my favorite cigar brand. So it was like, hey, man, this is like we're going to be besties. You know what I mean? Like good housekeeping. Yep. You know? He says, you make it home okay gay man. Literally. Is that a paraphrase? That is the exact. Ooh. Exact. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, you were the one rubbing my shoulders there, buddy. You know what I mean? Like. I'm sorry. You to, have to, to see To be it. fair, he had hair. Okay. So you know how I am with people with hair. I'm like, hey, good for you. Why do you think I always wear a hat? Yeah. To protect myself. Fair. Fair. (laughs) And I was like, I'm trying to figure this out. And I was like thinking about, hey, sorry, I'm just I'm I'm straight, I'm just friendly, or I'm outgoing, or You should have led with just showing us that text. Just to been like, how would you take this? No, this this is legit. Yeah. Oh. And I said, sorry I gave you the wrong impression, but I'm not gay. Ha ha ha, no worries, my dude. Glad you made it home safely. Yeah. <laughs> I think the next morning he's like, yeah, no, me neither. <laughs> I was just kidding, buddy. Yeah. It was interesting. Uh, so then I so, come in here, and so I was dudes, like, yeah, got hit no. on by a gay man again last night. And Eric's sitting over there. That's the first time I realized Eric was here. And he's like, yeah, Corey. And I'm like, I don't, I don't think we're taking this the same way. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. I love your people. If I ever need help picking out some clothes, you're my guy. But, but I the did back you rub say that this dude was married? Yes, to a woman. I, I imagine. Does she so. know? I, I, Maybe they might be. To swingers. be honest with you, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Is a very straight looking dude. This was this was not like if the guy rolled in there like, and and he looked like Evan. Then I would have got what was coming to me. You know what I mean? So you're saying you would not have resisted his advances? No, no what I'm saying <laughs> is... Well, you said I you would have got it. I might have put my you, guard no, up. No, you said you would have got what was coming to you. Wow. 
open for interpretation, I suppose. No, like, I would have been like, oh, okay. No, but, like, like this guy looked like a dude we'd work with in the oil field, man. Like, he was, he was definitely not a cop, oh. I'll tell you that. Oh. You just linger on that while I relight my cigar. Uh, Ryan Clement said uh, that's how Jason always starts his stories whenever you were doing your... Your, your opening dialogue. <laughs> I, I tell very, very long. And did by, and by the Jeff's way, comments? Ryan, I did pass on the message. Do you have Jeff's comments Yes. There? Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. I, I get in there and he's Strange like... Strange days we live he's in. He's like, uh, so Ryan Clement was here yesterday and he said it's coming. And then I had to tell him the story about... And you put on your safety glasses. Uh, yeah. No, I was quite amused he- hearing the, the second half of that. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they play a game where they beat the shit out of each other. Poop out of each other. Oh, now you got oh, two beeps. Sam. Dang. Beep, beep. Bro, I'm the only one drinking. And I'm telling yeah. this whack story, and I'm yeah. still behaving myself. Yeah. That's pretty disappointing, guys. I'm drinking coffee. But see, here's the thing. You have, like, an active filter working to stop you, because you know. I've never heard that before. From <laughs> Jason just retrohoed his coffee back into the cup. You okay there, bud? Oh, I'm okay now. Yep, yep, yep. Have you ever heard anybody say those words to me? No. That but was a you, mistake. But you have an active filter that's working to help guard you against using the bad words. I just don't have enough RAM. Yeah. Slow you, cash or whatever. You, I need to empty it. You were talking about uh, your tummy ache this morning. So I was oil filled and I... Rumbly I, my tumbly. Yeah. I slept in. I was like five minutes late on my way to the rig. I'm right off the end of the lease road, and the dude I'm relieving calls me. He's like, hey, bud, like, what's up? And I'm like, crap, man. Thought I, like, thought I was getting there, didn't have service. Um, you know, my bad. He didn't hear me. So he's like, what do you mean you're not coming? I was, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, man, I, I got a tummy ache. <laughs> Old boy hangs up on me and calls our boss. <laughs> That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm standing him. next to him when I'm my boss it calls me. And he's just got his head down like this. <laughs> and I'm like, what's the matter? And he's like, I know why he's calling you. I said, why? He goes, you'll find out. <laughs> the boss is calling to give me the business about having a tummy ache. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm standing right next to him. Like, I, I'm already here. And he's like, wait, what? And I was like, hold on. Ah. I hear an air on the phone. He's like, oh, uh, yeah. He's like, I didn't realize he was messing with me. I didn't let him finish what he was saying. Sorry. I got a tummy ache. The, I, last, the last company I worked for... Um, there were people that did that. It was like, hey, I ain't making it in today. I don't, I don't feel real good. Like, what? like not like I am viciously ill. <laughs> yeah, you're in the oil field, bud. Not I am viciously ill. Like, oh, no. Like, I did. And it's like, there's no sick days in the oil Yeah, field. you don't. You don't. That doesn't happen. And that's when I realized I was in a real soft company. You know what I mean? I was yeah. like, this, this yeah, company let them different. do it? Whoa. Also, they had nobody that knew how to do anything. All this company did was pretty much drill outs. And so anytime there was a sales job, I was on it. So I didn't work a drill out for, like, my first two years at this place. Uh, oh, that's pretty dope. I was always on that sales. That is pretty dope. Yeah, because, and, and, like, I was one of three guys that was capable of doing a sales job. Not only that, but I was far and away the most competent, which is terrifying. Um, <laughs> like, I was the only you one that was it. actually qualified, and you guys are the only ones listening right now probably that will understand what this means. I was the only one that was really qualified to be a day supervisor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, everybody else they had, they were all night leads, even yeah. for everything. But somehow they managed to survive because we did well at drill outs. Sure. But, but yeah, it was, a, it was a strange position. Not the strangest position you've been in lately, huh? Well, let me ask you. Get your hands off me, boy. <laughs> See, that's, that's, how, that's, that's how you handle that. See? I was trying to be friendly. These were new people. It was like it was a nice bar. I don't know, man. That's real friendly, bud. Someone does that to me. I'm just gonna give him the. No, no, you do the shrug like the. I'm, I'm telling you, I the went. F you doing? I didn't even do that because I was trying to be polite, but I went to. Erect. And 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 like was like awkward. All right, guys, see you. It's nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. Going? We had um, a woman worked at chemical plant, and she was the, I don't remember. She was, there was plant manager than her can't think of what her title was but uh every she, she would always put her hand on you like and she talked to you the one day i'm working it's like three o'clock in the morning and she had a habit of showing up and like sneaking up on people okay 
So it's like three o'clock in the morning, down by the river, dark sodium lamp. So it's that weird orange light. Uh-huh. I'm working by myself in a tank farm, which means I should be alone for quite a distance right now. She comes over, scares me, and then she comes up. And she's like, oh, hey. And I just looked at her and I went, get your hands off me now. <laughs> and like, I didn't mean to say it, <laughs> but I said it. She did one of these and she's like, I, I'm like, we're good. I don't like being touched. And she's like, okay. Probably three more times after that over the next like six months, she would do it and you just tear her. Like as soon as her hands would hit me, she'd, she'd realize what she was about to do. Like it was just like. It, it was like when you go to pet a cat on its tummy and you realize you messed up. Yeah. You're like, I'm getting, I'm getting scratched. Yeah. But like, and it was the funniest thing because everybody, she'd walk up, she'd put, put her hand on them yeah. and then they'd see her do it to me and be like. Like a, like you know, like it was a hot pan or something. Like oh oh my bad my bad. He's positively charged. Yeah. Okay, so let me preface this by saying, we never saw this woman, and I th- I don't think she works there anymore. But there's a scrap. Tr- we we have to call for scrap trucks at work mm-hmm. because we we p- pile up scrap and we call. It's actually a contract company that comes in and takes our scrap away and gets rid of it so we can get cleared up. But like at some point, a lady just started answering the phone. And, and you talk to her, and it's like, hey, I need a box. And she's like, okay, dear. And it's, it was, like, really nice with all these dudes that would just cut, cut right, up yeah. on you and talk smack all the time just to have this, like, nice soft voice on the other end of the phone <laughs> that would be, like, call you dear and stuff. Like, we never physically interacted with this woman. I've seen her. You know, but, but that was, you know, there's nothing weird there. It was just kind of nice amidst okay, all this violence and, 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 and just terrible trash talk all the time to have this nice, sweet part. It's like having your mom at work with you, you know? I don't think she's Sounds there terrible. anymore. She's not. Yeah, it's been a while since she I quit. It. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and, and the one day, the, the worst part was I call and she goes, okay, Jason. And I was like, this ain't Jason. And, and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, blah, 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 blah. I always have nice conversations with Jason. And I'm like, daft, man. I'm like, what am uh-huh. I, chopped liver? Like, so apparently Jason, would, I, oh, I call and I go like, hey, I need a, a box here or there. Uh, apparently her and Jason have these in-depth conversations about uh, we, D&D We sit on the whatever. phone for hours and <laughs> ponder life's yeah. little nuances together. Just, just I'm, I'm pleasant. I yeah. don't, listen, I'm always, I'm always super nice to the dudes. And and because of that, we like, heard. I think, <laughs> <laughs> and in varying varying terms, uh, uh, apparently, well, too welcoming sometimes. I'm gonna start calling you fancy. Hey, just be nice to the gentleman, fancy, and they'll be nice to you. Get my diamond earrings in. No, 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 but like, I, you don't want these guys to put you on the end of the list. You want to get. Your your stuff taken care of. So I, <laughs> You're I'm getting never. real careful with your phrasing, and it's <laughs> awesome yes. to watch. I'm I'm always I am always very careful about being like very polite yeah. and appreciative because you don't want them to be like f you. You're going on the bottom of yeah. the list, right? You know what I mean. But apparently, Jason has more in depth conversations with the scrap. I see. I I beg to differ. From what I've gathered today, you're on bottom. I mean, it's a lot easier down there. Far less responsibility. Yeah. You know, Good like, grief. Ugh. I don't have abs. What do you want? <laughs> oh, so since we're like halfway through the cigar, Jason. It's not a baseball bat no more. No. It almost looks like a Toro. My, mine looks like a normal cigar. Okay. What do I think of this guy? It's got, it's got a little bit of the pepper. I dig that. Um... It's 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 not <laughs> away from the mic, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not it's not super bold. Um, it's an approachable approachable cigar. Um, I I it's well rounded is yeah. what it is. It is a well rounded. It is not stick. box press. No, it, it is not box press. <laughs> uh, I like it. Um, this is a. If I could interject, and I'll bounce my thoughts off of you. Mm-hmm. This is a really good everyday cigar. Mm-hmm. This is probably, as you stated, the best V you're going to get, other than the other V. Um, I don't know that this He's trying is, to justify his masculinity again. I, I have no masculinity. <laughs> clearly, <laughs> I don't know that this this uh, hits me 
as like some big anniversary cigar. Right. But it is a very, this would be a very good everyday smoke. What uh, what price point? Um, Here come the Lincolns. Two paper Lincolns and three paper Washingtons. That's not bad. No. Uh, especially for this day and age, that's about yeah. average. And Oliva generally doesn't have anything that's in the expensive mm-hmm. end. So, you know, at least under the, the circumstances. Melanios get up there. Do they? Yeah, the Melanios. They don't smoke them. They're so overrated. They start at the the little ones like the petite coronas they start at the same price point as this guy and they go up to yeah that's that's a four paper absurd. lincolns the, but but this doesn't hit the same way as you would think a big anniversary cigar nah. would but it is a very reasonable like everyday cigar if you if you just looking for something different in your rotation that's not an unapproachable price point i will say for as young as these cigars are they taste aged yeah like they they like you like you the way you said that it's well rounded if you take something that's pretty peppery, I and hope you've never there. said those words on a date. Like as young as this is, it tastes aged. <sighs> yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, Internet Land. Anyways, if you took like you a know what, of- last week we had such a good show. Yeah, we, we did. Is this look, not good? Come back to our roots. It's we are we are just very we're having very fun. meandering. Oh yes, Here, here's it's all we over need, the place. Jason, I'm putting it on you. Uh-oh. Ask a cigar question. Because I don't have one. I was talking about a cigar, though. I was that already they, doing that. It, like, wasn't, like it we, wasn't going well. <laughs> let's, talk, let's, <laughs> let, let's talk about the Continue. Um, but no, like if you did, had something that was like a, a Nicaraguan blend that was, you know, kind of peppery and put some age on it, this is what it turns into. It, it, it rounds all those edges off of it, softens it up a little bit. You get the flavor, but you don't get that punch on it. Sure. Yeah, that's, that's for, for a cigar that has so much Nicaraguan tobacco in it. Doesn't hit the way something from like AJ's farm would. Yeah, it doesn't have that Esteli vibe. Yeah, but I mean, it, I, and I don't know what the blend is on it. I believe it's a it's an Ecuadorian it's a, Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. Binder and filler. Yeah. So I mean, it's in your notes. That doesn't. Yeah, they're, they're over there. I looked at them <laughs> at the beginning. I, I did do them. There was I, very, I, know, I know. There's very little in here, uh, yeah. but 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 it was a light news week. Yeah. yeah. No. I mean, it was good. I, I I like the stick every time. This is like I said, my favorite of the V's. When it first came out, I smoked boxes of these. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. But you like, cut it. It's a V two to double down. A, a double V. Yeah. It's like a Subaru. There you go. They call that scissoring. Mm-hmm. Oh, never mind. Um, no, that 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 was too far. That, I I didn't say that's anything. the one that got the awkward look from from I responded Jason. Responded to your no, look. him. He gave me an awkward look. What? It, of, of all the things on this show, that's His the wife one. drives a Subaru, just for clarity. Oh, yeah, that's right. Nothing? I mean, that one's in her name, so the, so the truck's technically hers. Oh. And I, I get to make scissors. That's fine. Don't run with them. No. God, no. <laughs> Chris Gales. <laughs> what is, she sends a puppy... Pushing up a rain. I don't know what's happening right now, but it's, it's a happy puppy. It's very... To be fair, I don't know that that's... An inaccurate representation of this episode. Puppies That's and rainbows. Pretty. You know what? I, I'm I'm digging it. I've got the name of the episode now. Puppies and rainbows. <laughs> Puppies and rainbows. <laughs> See here, I was going to say what peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat, but uh, yeah, it, we weren't quite leaning into that hard enough. So I saw, I saw a uh, reel came up today. Made me think of it. I thought you you specifically would find it exciting. You know they're redoing like a ton of kids characters as horror movies now. Okay. Well, it, like it, I'll, uh, it, I'm, um, I'm not kidding. They're calling Five it Five Nights at Freddy's. No, like uh, they're calling it the Pooniverse. Wow. Winnie that the Pooh. Is, they've okay. already got. They've got two <laughs> two horror retakes of Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's uh-huh. that's why I didn't stop talking. I kept it going. That's gonna be my uh, new favorite website. Uh, <laughs> you and Eric are the only subscribers. I will I will pay half if we can lock down that URL. Pooniverse. <laughs> I'm in. Let's go. Oh, the so resale ma- value. So many that. references. Is, yes. Uh, but now that they're, they're doing a, a Peter Pan, but it's Peter Pan. Like <laughs> it writes itself. Where it? he's a horror character. Pooh, he's a horror character. Bambi. Um, right on. The Mad Hatter. Like they, yeah. they've got a whole herd of them. That's but, cool. Yeah. And it's, it's and I don't do horror movies, but I'm kind of like you know what? I want to see Bambi just ravage the hunters. Episode like, get after one. It, Peter Pan gets a puppy. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. H. Okay, because yeah. I was definitely going to put it like that. Yeah, yeah. H. Oh, <laughs> Jay's trying to... Oh, come oh. on. Can you at least do it in an incognito tab? I-V-E-R. Oh, there you go. Oh. Blo- Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Yes. <laughs> That's... <laughs> It, it's, it, it, it's, it's, a, and they have it's, a, it's a monthly special. They have a whole rollout. Uh, click three. Nope. Go back. Yeah, that's Pooh. What is this? That's Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, that's and terrifying. Piglet. Go two more to the right. Two. One more. Two. Click that. So, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Uh, yeah, you know Blood the and Honey 2. Bambi. What's that say under Bambi? I can't read it from here. Just hold control the and scroll. The Reckoning. Yeah, Bambi the Reckoning, Neverland Nightmares, and Pinocchio Unstrung. Pinocchio Unstrung. It should be Pinocchio Strung Out. I don't know if this is real, but I think it's my favorite thing ever now. I'm like, there's... <laughs> Puniverse Monsters Assemble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not getting copyrighted at all. Yeah, they that. got the H in there. I think we could get ahead of that with the URL. Oh, no, th- I'm pretty sure that's already. T- you know what? It's Corey's computer. Look up the other, look it with an incognito, end. please. Don't don't incognito it. Just do just. They do look terrifying though. They yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. It's, it is Winnie the Pooh with a flaming chainsaw. They all look like it is a they, flaming chainsaw. They all yeah. look like like B villains in a live action Michael Bay Ninja Turtles mm. movie. Go that's, up one. That poster that's second in from the yeah. Click that. So that's Winnie the Pooh. Okay. Uh, cut this Riding one out for Bambi. Him. Riding Bambi. The Mad Hatter to the left. There's Tigger and Piglet there. Um, Piglet. Uh, Ooh. They had a baby. Get. That's really yeah. close to not good. <laughs> yeah, that's please, man. <laughs> please. Uh, Jason could have made a diamond. <laughs> just chill. You heard that too, huh? Mm. There was some brakes pumped. There yeah. was a, absolutely a, a touch or two of it. I think he's got a little bit of cushion up in there. Yeah. I, from his chair. I, there yeah, we go. Yes. Cut a little so this is off. what we're talking about for those of you who are viewing this. It is. If you haven't been to our YouTube channel, like, subscribe, terrible. share. Kind yeah. of Do that. Yeah. We, got a, we, we got two out of, your, out of last week. So thank you guys. Um, Rich and Shannon. So, so yeah. Jay, when are you going to start uh, taking the media home with you and doing some work? Because we do have a couple of reels that need cut. The mythical Corey Corn and the, the double-sided uh, uh, Toscano smoker. Uh, we'll call that, I don't know, finger cuffs? I don't know. Maybe I'll just lose that episode. Oh, <laughs> I don't no. know what happened to it. Yeah, no. Late, well, let's call I've got it. backups. Don't you worry. Lady in the Toscano. Uh. No? The tramp and the tramp? Two tramps, one stick. <laughs> <laughs> Set them up and knock them down, baby. For oh, our yeah. younger audience, if you aren't aware, I you, hope you we don't you, have a younger audience. You need to immediately Google two girls, one cup. Oh, you can thank Jason later. Gross. <laughs> we were doing. We, gross. You said Jason already swore. Let's just let's just take it to the end. You know, <sighs> take it to the limit. Highway <laughs> to the. Danger zone. Danger Dang. zone. You look like you're See, living in the danger zone over there. I, I wonder how many people are like me, where when you hear danger zone, you think of Archer as opposed to mm. Top Gun. Because like for me, that immediately it's it's Archer saying it. I was listening to it on the way here, going like, I wonder if there's an acoustic version of this. <laughs> there's of there's course. a good transition actually. There's there's an acoustic version of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot That's of true. them are great. Really, I I really like acoustic versions of stuff. Um, I, I don't know why. I just do. I, I always think it's very interesting when you can keep like the i you know the 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 feeling of the original, but do it clean. It, I don't know, man. It, no. it does something for me. I think it's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, with that being said, I've been doing something weird for the last couple of weeks. Um, weird for me, not weird for you. Uh, which is playing the electric guitar. Oh, okay. Okay. I was um, curious what his name was, but that makes better sense. We we said I wasn't going to say it on the air. 10-4. Um, just in case. Mm-hmm. Um, no, man, like I've been playing electric. It's weird because I play acoustic all the freaking time. So I've been playing the old Dino Axe, getting ready for the show. How different is it to play one um, versus the other? So an acoustic neck is generally a little bit fatter. There's a little more room for your fingers, but you have to... You have to press harder on the strings. It's a little more 
punishing on your fingers. Um, whereas on the electric, everything's a little bit tighter. Man, the, the Indian one, I can't can't get away from it. Just just, just go with it. Yeah, we're we're going to find them anyway. So, so like, you got to be a little bit more precise. But with that being said, it's also like you could do you can play a lot longer. Um, Super. Uh, yeah. Keep going. So, so anywho, it's it's cool. Yeah. I, I've been. I may play a solo this Saturday. Oh, My yeah? first one ever. Um, we at? are uh, we're playing at uh, the Farmlands. Actually, this is going to be June fifteenth at Pittsburgh Cigar Box Festival. This is at Malone's Farm. It's thirty eight Walnut Street in Cole Center, PA, one five four two three. Eleven a.m. to question mark is how Louie has this phrased. Ugh. And, and originally, I felt mark. really good about like, hey, let's open this because that way I have all the time in the world to set up my equipment. I don't have to have anybody waiting on me. We could get it, you know, get yeah. everything where we need it. And then we're done. I could get my stuff out of there and just chill the rest of the day. And now I kind of am coming to the realization of, oh, we're the test subjects. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any way, especially now Jason's doing the sound. With all equipment he's never seen before. That's it. Just bring it to him five minutes before you're supposed to start. It'll go. It'll be flawless. <laughs> It'd be great. Flawless. Do not. Yeah. Yeah. Don't give me. Don't give me any amount of time. No. If you give me any amount of time, I'm going to overthink bad. it. Oh yeah. So it'll be interesting because we're going to be the like the test, the test, uh, the crash test pigs. dummies. Crash mm-hmm. test dummies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's already a band with that Once. name where I might steal it. Mm-hmm. There was. So this we'll key. see. We'll see how it goes. The other thing is too. This is an God all day festival that we're opening at 11 a.m. So there's going to be like three people in the audience. Dude, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. If I don't have a canopy, I'm going to be. I'm bringing several. A crispy little chicken. Yeah, you're going to need something. Uh, excuse me one second, guys. Uh, yeah. He does not trust Seneca to handle the customers. So, um, I mean, I wouldn't either. With a haircut no. like that, Jesus. You know, doofenshmirtz. Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know the name. Had some out truck. Um, but, yeah. So, you guys, anybody out there listening, let me know who's coming. Uh, Eric says he's gonna try, but I'm hoping I'm hoping that he's gonna he's gonna show up. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be cool, and, and I think there's only two real possible options: either a gigantic load of people are gonna be there, or there's gonna be a very few. How, no, here's the thing, buddy. How many bands are playing? Like eleven. Okay, you've got eleven bands that have pro- no no cover charge. No, no it's free. Is it really? Yeah. They did the fundraising ahead of time. Okay. So I like, was like, where are they getting the money for this? No, 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 I thought they, they were. So you've been to the Leaning House. You know how Dave always sells the raffle tickets? Mm-hmm. They've been using those. And I think uh, maybe even the cigar box raffles, gotcha. but like the firearm raffles and stuff usually go gotcha, to the building gotcha. fund. Gotcha. They've been going to, and they did the meat raffle. I don't remember, know if you remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I they, bought a ticket to that. Yeah. I didn't so win. like. All the fundraising was ahead of time, so they have the money for the thing. So the only gotcha. thing that's going to cost you any money is if you decide that you want to buy some Chapel Hill wine or some fancy popcorn or whatever it is that you buy there. So, But continue on your line of train. I forget where I was. Me too. That's it, fine. This is why we shouldn't be left alone. <laughs> <laughs> because because we both just lose it at the exact same time. It was about the number of people there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got all these bands that are going to be there, and I'm sure they have. I should probably put the camera on me. And they should put, they probably have, you know, decent followings. I remember when I was playing with a band, I could put 150 people in a place. Um, so, yeah, it, I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be... I think by like a lot of people there by like five o'clock maybe. I I think by five p.m. Sure. maybe you'll have a ton of people. Sure. I don't know how many people are going to be there at eleven a.m. I just but I have a feeling the number is going to be low when we start. Oh, by the way, I sent Louie uh, a message on Facebook Messenger. That's a good place to do it on Facebook. Um, but he never got back to me. Okay, I don't okay. believe so. Uh, uh, let me know what it is. We'll get a hold of Louie. Well, I just I just asked him. I said, hey. When, uh, oh, never mind. He, he responded, but you he don't did. look at your phone because you're Jason. You're going to share with the, uh, with the kids? Oh, I just, I asked him, uh, I said, 
I'm going to be running sound for you on Saturday. What time? Uh, what time are you going to set up? And he tells me that they, uh, they're setting up Friday afternoon, and they should be there most of the day since it's a, a huge PA. And Saturday show starts at 11 a.m. Will be time to set up for. The chair's really loud when I move it. He's going to be. I'm probably going to get there at about nine o'clock. That, that'd be a smart play. Yeah. That's probably the time that I'm going to plan on trying to get there as well because I'll have my own equipment that I want to set up for sure. my pedal board and stuff, and um, you know, just to make sure everything's kosher. Like, which is, I'll be sound checking longer than I'm actually playing. You know what's? You know what's going to be funny is, uh, Friday. I I'd gotten Friday off. Oh. Uh, yeah. Th- we have the sports festival. Uh, yeah, for the company. Yeah, which I will not go to because I don't sport. You don't sport. I'm I'm playing on the softball team. Yeah, so uh, which is going to be awesome. It is. It's going to be a blast. And yeah. um, what? No, and no. not for you. Not I have, no conversation. It, there was a lot of discussion about softball yesterday. Yeah, and it wasn't. It wasn't nice. Just picture a bunch uh, of them on a string. And that exactly the implication <laughs> that, your, that your mind is going to is, You're welcome. is, is probably correct. It's, I may have spearheaded that initiative. Yeah, you, you might have ruined the entire game of softball for a, I didn't a expect room full of people. Mike King to take to it so wholeheartedly. Oh, he resembled that remark. Mm. And he's a little guy. Yeah, I cannot see him as anything but, but a, a sock puppet now forever. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mike King. <clears throat> so... So my interaction with Louie, so like I've been killing time at home and there I've, I've, Louie did a great job on my guitar, but it, it is, it was a big ask, right? Uh-huh. It's a weird situation for a guy that usually builds stuff from scratch out of cigar boxes to make an actual guitar, right? And so. I feel like he usually makes actual guitars. No, 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 no. Like, like a, a guitar out of a guitar instead of out of a cigar box. Yeah, I know. You would think that'd be easier, but there's a lot going on on my guitar, okay? I'm trying to give the guy credit here. Oh, he's fantastic. But, but I've, I've also done my own work on this guitar, which was a lot of sanding, a lot of finishing work. And due to that, I've had to tear into it a few times. And, but there became a point where Jason will understand this, and Sam, you're going to be lost. Okay. So it's a Les Paul style, two humbuckers. My bridge pickup works great. And the sustain has, is, like, endless. If I put a certain patch on on my pedal, mm-hmm. it'll hold a note for, like, 45 seconds. It's insane. But my, my bridge pickup was giving me nothing. Like, just barely enough that I could see it on the meter on the soundboard, but you couldn't really hear it. And I was like, I need to straighten this out. So I took everything apart and got in there. And so I, like, hit up Louie, and I'm like, hey, man. And he's at a show. And he uh-huh. pulls off to the side to, like, try to listen. I'm like, I need to know how you wired this. Is this a 50s style Les Paul or is it a modern or what? You know what I mean? Like, because I need to look at a wire diagram online to try to help me sort through and where my problem might be. And he says, it was modern, you know. So I go in and, and, he, and we're talking about where the wires are run for the pickups to the three-way switch to all of this stuff. Because something's, something's wrong. And he's telling me it's got to be the switch. All the solder joints on the switch are good. But there were two, ironically, two bundles of wires that were making contact. But they're all ground. Like, I, I thought they'd be okay to touch each other. I separate them. Like, ultimately, my trial and error was I have all this stuff taken apart on the back. Caught again. Mm-hmm. Plug in. And I'm playing it. Nothing's happening. So smack it the back of the guitar to see if it makes a difference. Uh-huh. And every once in a while, it, it sounds through. And so I'm like, okay, play with these wires. Hit it. And I'm like, okay, this works. I realize there's two little bundles of wires that are making contact at the solder joints. It shouldn't be. I uh-huh. tape them up. Everything's cool. Problem solved. And so, like, I hit him up, and I was like, hey, man, I got it. And he's like, I love you. <laughs> because most people, that if he gets up, like, having trouble, they're going to bring it to him, and he's going to have to go through the process of trying to figure mm-hmm. it out. So just the fact that I'm not afraid to, like, take it apart yeah, and troubleshoot it. it on my own and be like, okay, dude, I got it, you know. Yeah, uh, I think is is very oh, useful yeah. to him. Oh, it makes things so much easier. But it's perfect now. It sounds great, and uh, I can't wait to play it at the show. It'll be the very first time the Dino Axe gets to be showcased. The off, Dino so. Axe. The Dino right. Axe. Dino yeah. Axe. And 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 he was he. I I heard he was out like at flea markets, 
And uh, he was like, I thought I found something for Jason, but it wasn't quite right. He's looking for, um, uh, what do you call it, the uh, the attachment for the end. Okay, okay. The word. Bayonet? Yeah. Thank you. He, he was like a bayonet that was close. And Jason's like, I don't need the bayonet. And I'm like, you, you no. You ha- like, it'll be removable. You don't have to have it on there all the time. It has to have, the sheath has to be in the end of it, though. So, like, the handle is the end of, of the axe. There's no handle on a uh-huh. guitar. The handle of the bayonet. Okay, that's where, it, that wouldn't. Maybe I could just get him to put a detachable K bar on it. Right. And then but it like and then slot the the neck of the to guitar be, to slide it down in and like latch it in. It doesn't have to be a bayonet, but he has to have some sort of blade because this is gonna be the apocalypse axe. No, I am yeah. looking at the right Hatchet blade. Hatchet would be cool too. But <laughs> probably not as good. Yeah. So I, like, I think a K bar would be cool. Yeah. yeah. It, I, I'm down with any kind but, of blade that comes off the end of this thing. The only problem is the uh the hilt mm-hmm. on it, it's got to be flat on one side. Yeah. So, just you, I mean, just, a grinder will fix that. Sure. Problem solved. Jason, we're, we're going to pull you out of retirement to make a, uh, may, maybe you could even come play the Halloween show with us. And, like, there's got to be a music video where you're just, like, playing and then stabbing zombies intermittently <laughs> and then going back to playing again. I, you know what? I thought about... Coming out of retirement and maybe... But you don't want to do the work. Well, no. So here's the thing. What I'm looking for is very, very, very specific, right? Um, used to play in a punk band, uh, like alt-rock, stuff like that. You're still a punk to me. And uh, I mean, yeah. What I would like to do is I would like to front a rockabilly band. Dude. Uh, what's the name of that? There's one that cracks me up. Oh, uh, what's the name? Of it? I'll think of it after the show. By the way, I do want to publicly thank you for getting that thing off your face. <laughs> I just it, it makes yeah. this much easier for me. As it, like, About makes it way chill. easier for me. Well, my daughter was oh, like, "You are not having a mustache for uh, the dance recital." Thank you. Because I'm. Thank you, I'm, daughter. I'm in the dance recital. Yes, thank you, daughter. So, oh, like here, here uh, was the thing I liked about it. It was symmetry because you were as ugly on the outside as you are on the inside, and I appreciated Aww. that. <laughs> that's nice. And that, there's that's, some more that's of that pleasant. inside there's coming some out. Some inside coming out. What's the uh, what the guy from It's Always Sunny? Um, Danny DeVito. No, the the little loud guy. I can't think of his name. Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> the the second True. little yeah, the, uh, yeah. Do you ever see the the skit of him? It's his daughter's dance recital, mm-hmm. and the girl's doing, you know, does it, and she's flopping, and she runs off stage crying. He comes back. He's like, well, "Let's do the other song. Let's do the other song." And it's, uh, "I don't f with you." Do you ever see that real dude? That's what I'm picturing you at this dance recital. I'll, I'll find it afterwards and throw it in there. Hell it, yeah, Ryan! Rockabilly would be a blast. Uh, oh, so it, we. Had, this is your buddy, yeah. Yeah, okay. Ryan. Ryan and I have been friends yeah, yeah, yeah. for like twenty. Almost 30 years, maybe. Yeah, I mean, him and I are going on 24 hours. Yeah? So, yeah. Do you yeah. answer the phone when he calls? No. Bah, fair enough. I feel better. No, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I, I also don't that. text him back for like three or four days either. Here, here's the nice thing about when I call you. You know it's going to be 10 seconds, usually. That's... You you are pretty pleasant to be on the phone with because you're like, all right, I'm done. See ya. Boom. And that's it. There's no... Yeah, problem solved. I can always tell on your voice... Like, if you're answering because you're like, okay, I'll hear what you have to say, but I'm, I'm doing stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, like, I called you a few times yesterday before we actually spoke, mm-hmm. and it went to voicemail. And I couldn't tell if it's because you were doing something else on your phone, your phone was off. So I tried them a little bit later, and it, did, I never got confirmation. I, I, I feel a little bit like your parent sometimes when I'm trying to coordinate things. Sure. Especially at the mill. Like, like, I'm doing all the talking with Craig to see if, like, we could work your schedule. Because, like, I've committed to Louie that he's doing the sound. And I know, Jason, if I just let Jason go, nothing will happen. So I need to coordinate primarily between the work people and Jason's wife to find out if, if these dates are compatible. If this is going to work or not. If we could do this, yes. Yeah. And so all I was looking for was, like, confirmation that he had... He had to do a swap for schedules because I have a vacation day for the show on Saturday. And the only way that – so Jason gets naturally gets that coverage for that day. Right. 
And the only way that he can get out of it is switching with our other guy to, to make it work. And he was, Craig was very cool. He's like, yeah, we could do this, we could do this. But I'm like, did you work something out? And he's like, I haven't heard from Jason. So I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm sweating whether you've actually done the things to make it work so that I don't look like the idiot when I show up on Saturday and there's no sound guy. So so I was like, you'll figure it out. I called. He answered. Hey, bro, do you, do you figure something out with Craig so that you could you, we could make this work? He's like, yeah, no, we got it all sorted. I was like, all right, cool. And he says something else. And I'm like, all right, man, I'll let you go. But bye. Boom. Like I could feel. Yeah, you don't. It's you don't need to be on the phone. I do not like being on the phone. I, I know. Either. I really don't like being on the phone. But I, I hate text messages, and a big part for you is you will not see but the Louie, great example. I messaged Louie, and he never answered me back. But I've never looked at my phone never for the last five it. days to see if he did message me back. So I need verbal confirmation. Sure. But I... As much as like you guys listen to me on this podcast and know that I can talk forever, if I'm on the phone with you and I can tell you need to go, I'll hang up b- before. Oh you, yeah, before you need me. So we had uh, we had a comment on the junkies Facebook page, and then we had a comment on uh, YouTube. Uh, the YouTube was just Rich said he joined. I appreciate you, brother. Thank Hi, you Rich. very much. And then um, the other one was asking about the murder mystery dinner. Asking what happened okay. with that, and I said the mighty month of March that was ruined Heather. that. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. wild yeah. because it's like Heather's still out there mm-hmm. somewhere. somewhere. Yeah, just not Sunday mornings. <laughs> yeah, no, just not Sunday mornings. But yeah, so we got to get back to yes. planning that because that's, that's I got to be a thing. Absolutely agree. Um, so yeah, the the month of March was. I mean, I was in uh, yeah. up f- February. I was full steam ahead yep. with a bunch of stuff, man. Uh, and then March came, and it kind of just all... It said, pump the brakes. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, Chill it's out wild a because you would have... Like, I would not wish that month upon my worst enemy. Yeah, that was terrible. You had a bad, bad month. Which, no offense, but it worked out for you a little bit because... My ability to like ask you about any like I can't even be like hey man like you gotta take over this you gotta take over that like you got a lot of grace period from me sure it's like this this poor freaking yeah guy. we just leave him alone right now yeah it's better that way because <laughs> we were we were actually like on a, a roll for a while with like yes. production meetings and planning yeah. stuff and we probably need to get back to that or just be like nah we're done. <laughs> We, we got to get something moving in a direction. The, 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 he, he, you know what was really disheartening? As there was a guy in here a month or two ago that was asking about, like, came in and asked a bunch of questions. You weren't here. This was a day I produced by myself and, and was asking questions. I was very happy to, like, be like, oh, no, here's what you want. Here, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. If you're doing a podcast, this is what I recommend. And much the way that Temple from work did, and somehow you got pulled into it, I was like, <laughs> Okay, like I set all this up, but yeah, Jason, okay. Jay's got a way. So this guy come in, and I was like, happy. And as I do, if I can't shop with my own money, I'll shop with other people's money. Sure. He gets several Oh yeah. Several links every week for Facebook Marketplace and be like, hey, check out this arcade machine, Yeah. this poker table. You know what I mean? Like unsolicited, just here's a thing yeah. I can't buy, but maybe you can. Exhibit A. <laughs> So there was somebody selling a roadcaster for like a ridiculously good price. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, I already got two. I don't need another one. But this guy was asking about, uh, you know, what what equipment he should buy. And so I was like, Hey, Sam, send this to your this dude if you know who it was that was asking me. And he's like, Oh no, they bought one. They're already up to like 140 thousand listens or something. <laughs> and they started their podcast like a couple of months ago. And I was like, Hmm. <laughs> What? Deflate. Well, they're they're talking about booze, not cigars. Uh, okay, it's not a cigar podcast. And, and like, it's just like, man, if we weren't such a niche market, it, I think <sighs> this show is really appealing. But and we were talking a little bit about unbranding the show right. to try to make it just just put it out under a different name, and it, we could probably grow significantly faster. I think that the two words that and believe me, dude, the cigar junkies. 
I love it. It's a cool thing, but, but it, it's I so don't limiting. I think the internet does. No. Yeah, the algorithm does like not. The algorithm fan. doesn't like those right. two words, cigar and junkies. Yeah. But but so my point is essentially that I think if we're if we're going to really look at trying to build something instead of petering out, at some point we have to have a real discussion about like hey, how do we look at changing a couple little things? Because I've looked back a little bit to mm-hmm. go like, hey, could we just change the name of the show and put every episode back out under a different name? Sure. There is there is so much, I think, that makes it hard. There was be so much editing work in past episodes to make that hard. <sighs> and so, like, my mentality is how do we move forward in a way that we could easily make a couple of tweaks that make this just more accessible. Um, well, well, let's crowdsource the info. Yeah. So guys, question, any ideas you guys have? Yeah. Shoot so us. Any, if you listen, sorry, I'm, I'm no, going to yeah. build exactly what you're saying. Yeah. If you guys listen to this show and you're cigar people and you think this show is appealing to folks outside of the, the cigar world, and, and you, what what things can we keep and what can we take away? Yeah. Go to the cigarjunkies.com um, or go to Facebook, go to the Cigar Junkies podcast at gmail.com. Reach out to us and say, hey, these are the tweaks that I think that you can make that will leave this show stay what I love about it for like the hundred subscribers that we have, but also appeal to a wider audience. Well, let's do it this way. Let's uh, use the Junkies account. Pin a question, the cigar junk, uh, the page account, to actually put That's not a bad to, idea. to pin an actual thread on our Facebook group. Pin it up top. We'll leave it up there for what do you guys think? A month. Leave it up for a month. Yeah. So let, we'll get the question posted and just hit hit us with the feedback and and don't be nice because we're not. So, so I think we've done a really good job for for a period of time of building. And then I think that much due to the fact that we just kind of don't have the time to put the extra effort into making the next step, have kind of sat in a certain area yeah, with, sure. without, like, an exponential growth. Stagnating. Yeah, that's, I like that word. Stagnating. Mm-hmm. Uh, here, here's to your vocabulary, sir. Vocabularies. Uh, every sip I take... Uh, Makes my vocabulary. I was I was right there with you, dude. I was right there with you. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> I, I think we have more potential. We what? So what we are looking for is we're looking for a rebrand. Um, we're considering a rebrand. We're not looking dual, dual brand. I don't want to lead the comments in a direction though. Okay, sure, and sure. A giant feedback thread. Just yeah. all the feedback. Just hammer it, guys. We're tell us gonna, the good, tell us the ugly, tell us the bad. Yeah, what you like about the show, what you don't like about the show, because one of the one of the things that I mean, and Sam and Corey, I think, agree with me. I think the name of the show uh, the, it, it hamstrings I us. Yeah. I think the name of the show hamstrings us a lot. I agree, but it's sad because like we we've built a good brand, I think. I think it's a great brand. Sure, but I think it's it's a brand that excludes a lot of people from from giving us. a It shot. is incredibly uh, uh, polarizing. Not polarizing. It uh, limiting. Limiting. I was going to say it. It sticks us squarely in a niche. Yes, you know, a very there is, small niche. There is no, which is a niche we don't fill either. There is no overreach into other places. Yeah. And you're right. Yeah. So, so like, essentially, from my point of view, most of what happens on this show wouldn't change. It's a lot of branding and, and like, where our tent poles come from that would keep us from being cornered into a certain position, right? Sure. Like, we're, we're always going to smoke cigars on this show. That's fine. Corey's always going to drink tequila on this show. The rest of you, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe once Sam has some help here and he has the ability to be like, hey, let's have a beverage on Friday night together yeah. and talk instead of like it's 930 on uh, uh, Sunday. I can't get snookered because I have to run my business for the sure, rest, the rest of, the of the day. day. Yeah. The, the biggest, honestly, I, I think we're going to hit a place where we can honestly put like all the effort in like Deadpool maximum effort is going to be the day where we can go, okay, 
you've got somebody that can cover this store and we can select any time frame that we want. Maybe we can go back to Friday nights and there could be a dedicated space where I don't have to drag stuff back and forth. It's a, like, I know you guys don't see it. It's a lot of work. I mean, oh, like yeah. this yeah. used to be this used to be my relief for the week, <laughs> and now it is it is a chore, which sucks because once we hit the play button, it's still what I love. Sure, it's fun once we get there, but it's the build up to it. <sighs> it's so yeah. much sometimes. Like every other week, it's so much. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I but I think I think once we hit a place where we have the freedom to maybe take out some of the the things that are that are less fun about the show and we could just focus on going okay how do we build how do we have the fun without the work and maybe even put in some extra work that's okay but right now i i, I put in work that's just up until a sunday morning when i hit here and i take that that first swig of the tequila thank you sam three <laughs> three bottles so yeah that's it <laughs> I, I think we would do well to, uh, to, to, to take a look. And I really think the, uh, the folks out there in old TV land and radio yeah. land. Yeah, but so you can get us at cigarjunkiespodcast at gmail.com. You can get us the cigarjunkies.com. The cigarjunkies.com. There's feedback on there. Or you can get us at Facebook. Those would be the three places we're checking for the, face, the feedback. Yeah. And then uh, once we have a list consolidated, we'll discuss. So, And this is uh, everybody but Troy Harper. Because I think <laughs> Troy Harper just loves us. By the way, what we do. welcome to the show, Troy Harper. He did show up a I couple love Troy. Ago. I do. I love Troy, but I feel, like, I feel like his opinion is skewed. I think he would like it no matter what we did. Like, if we just came in here and didn't say anything and just ate a bowl of Cheerios off of my head... Like, I think he'd be happy with that. I'm glad he would be happy because the rest of us would not be indulging, I don't think, in a bowl of Cheerios. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's, that was that's, the that's actual... Awful. Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, was, I'm grabbing was, it. I'm just sitting here processing the, the process. Painting pictures. I Troy, mean, the height is okay right, so, like, if you're standing in front of me, I guess, like, if I was standing, right. it would already be There's correct. There's somebody so that's that did good. that at my high school talent show. Um, that They didn't pull that out of thin air. Like, there was this dude that was just this weird dude like got up with all these heavy metal guys and they played like Metallica and mm-hmm. the, the guy just like ate a bowl of cereal. While, I don't think it was on his head. I Sounds think like he something a band there. that you would be in would do. I think he actually just sat there and ate Cheerios at a, like a bowl of cereal just while they played the song. Like, like <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen Green Jelly play. Oh. And they are ever have, they're a good time. You ever have uh, Chipotle jelly? No. Yo, <sighs> game changer. Smoked jalapeno chili. Yeah, you, jelly. No, no, no. And any pepper jelly, put it on a steak. Doesn't sound right. Not the Tastes worst. Amazing. Yeah. Tastes amazing. Went to the casino. Nice. I got and it was like habanero jelly. They put on top of yeah. the steak. Wow. I, I ordered That's a couple cool. from. Uh, I ordered a couple of jellies from uh, Amazon. The last time I smoked and cooked steak, Uncle Roger Very would hate that. Time. Uncle Roger, Uncle Roger, isn't he your pappy? He's no. awesome. No, no, oh. Uncle Roger. You he's, have you have a father named Roger and an uncle named Roger? No, no, he's he's a uh, TikTok guy. Oh, okay. Uncle Roger. Okay, there he is, he's, right he's there. Up. <laughs> That's Nigel. the. Uh, is he the same as the emotional damage guy? No, he is not That's the right. emotional damage That's, guy. That's I was confused. Those guys. Why? Because they all look the same. No, you said that. I didn't. That yeah, was I racist. didn't either. Yeah, wasn't going there. Why is he wearing a prison outfit? That's his that's, standard that's Uncle the, Roger getup. That's up. the Uncle shirt. Oh, he's hysterical. He is very, very funny. I haven't funny. seen anything from him in a while, though. So sad. So, that's, Hi, vegetable, yeah. Vegetable tastes like sad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why you do this? Use oil. The, <laughs> the, uh, the chat room has got kind of stagnant. We haven't heard anything from anybody except for the Jason shaved the ugly off. Oh, yeah. yeah. To be fair, there's a lot of ugly to left. Be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Yeah. That's two. Yeah. I don't think we could do more than two. Yeah, no, two, two's, two's plenty. I think we're about there anyway. The, so. the actual amount of time, if mm-hmm. you could switch back to the OBS screen so I could see a clock, the actual amount of time that I spend trying not to say, to be fair, so that we don't start a thing, it gets a little bananas. Yeah, we're pretty close. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, I already flipped a page. Let's welcome the new members to the Facebook group. We appreciate you coming in and hanging out and uh, seeing our nonsense. We got Frederick, Elix Brown, Tyrone Blatt, and Julian Jones. Um, that's going to take me back to my daughter's graduation. Okay. Why was it so long? We had to get there at 530 to get my daughter there in time to prep. The actual graduation did not start until 7 and was not over until close to 9. That is a long time to sit on bleachers. Yeah, that's My butt probably still has the lines from those bleachers on it. It was horrible. And the only thing I could think, they did two rows at a time. We go to a my, – my, my kids go to a pretty big school district. They got, not a huge one, but pretty big. Yeah. Bethel is a, is a large area. Why, why? What's with all the kids with four names? What? There's kids with like four names. So you get like your first name, your middle name, and then double last names or something. Oh. I don't know. All these kids with four names. I'm like, if everybody had a two name limit, we would have been out might, of here an hour. It might ago. be like confirmation name. Bro, That's I don't, uh, like cool. Hyphenated. Go, go go by what you need to go by. That's fine outside of this time frame. But I, I don't want to be here all day. Ryan asked if it was Frederick the bleachers or Saint your new friend. John Brognick Mahujan. Like, come on, man. Like Corey Jackson Dunning Kruger. Yeah. A lot of stuff like that. <laughs> and I'm like, this, 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 there should be a two lame two two name limit. Two name limit on limit. graduation what's, ceremonies. What's funny is we have the, the dance recital tonight and it starts at two o'clock. That's not tonight. Today. <laughs> it, it, it ain't going to be over. It. Oh, my God. This thing is going to be so forever. long. There are two intermissions. <laughs> well. There are almost 60 dance numbers. Jesus. And you've got to figure Why? at two. I don't know. Why? Man. Make it a two-day event. I have one Put hope for you, Jason. I, I hope that the instructor is like Grown Ups too. You've seen Grown Ups too. I no, I never know. finished uh, the second one. <gasps> no, I got bored. Oh, Too much of the same old same. Super hot dance instructor, and uh, Adam Sandler's like, man, I gotta get, I gotta get to to my kid's dance recital, and he's like, wait, wait what? Is this elementary? And I'm like, yeah, we'll give you a police escort, and Shaq plays a police officer. It's oh, funny wow. with the bald head. You need to see it with the bald cap on. <coughs> Adam Sandler's wife is played by Selma Hayek, and she's like. It was so nice for for your friends to come to our daughter's dance recital and, and the bus driver and the the police force and all these guys. And they're all sitting in the back like, yeah, Digging it. dude, Windows Capture, go to uh, Grown Ups 2 dance scene. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, huh? dude, if you haven't seen it, it is fan like when you see the guys dancing in the background and like kevin james getting it tied oh, up yeah. with the with the home video camera uh, the first one looks great to me the top left yeah okay. if you can screen capture that without copyright infringement i'm not sure if you can mm, but it is wonderful i don't think we can every, uh, we're gonna have ads uh, yeah i don't think we can yeah, no happen. not doing that yeah we're gonna have to mute the, ca- the capture but okay. but she's like getting down on all fours and stuff and like <laughs> Shaq's got the bald cap, you know, with with, with the the horseshoe hair. Okay. Just going like like jamming to it and stuff. <laughs> and it's like, oh well, your friends came to our like ten year old daughter's dance recital. That's a little weird. I wonder why. Yeah. Hmm. Is yeah. Hmm. Yeah. If her milkshake brought all the boys to the yard. Indeed. <laughs> Seneca said the reason you actually had to shave is they wouldn't let you around that many children. And now that hit, that was the hundred percent. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I've right, only, boys. I've only, well, yeah, yeah, real close. I've only had just a mustache one time. I was in Texas for the oil field, and there was a possibility because of H two S that I might have to wear mm-hmm. the respirator. And uh, so I'm, I, I'm all the way bald, so I had to shave off the goatee. But I was like. Ah, I'm going to try weaving the mustache for one day. <laughs> yeah, mistakes were made. It scared me. I did take a picture. I don't think I have it anymore. The most disturbing thing about this picture is that I took it in the hotel bathroom with no shirt on, but I, I have the chain that I never take off on. And 
it, it was terrifying. Do you sleep with that thing on? Yes. Oh, huh. no. I will, I will actually wake up in the morning, go to brush my teeth, and there will be, like, weird imprints. Like, like <laughs> impossible imprints. Just, like, up the side of your face a little bit. Like, like up here sometimes. Like, on my shoulder, it, it leaves the skin imprints. You yeah. can take it off. You're yeah, I just don't. Okay. I just don't. It's easier and, and that way. Today I'm actually coordinated. Ooh, my look my at bracelet you. matches. Aww. As my, His little my wallet. wallet chain is always the same as well. Look which at you. is actually kind of messed up because I got these two on Amazon for like twenty bucks, and this probably cost me a lot more. A lot Kohl's. more. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. You know how Coles oh yeah. does it. So final uh, thoughts on the stick. Good cigar. Very great daily smoker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I liked it. I enjoyed uh, it. For a limited, meh, okay. Daily smoker, really good. Price points, not so bad. Uh, hang out with us. Is this still accurate for the Cigar of the Week next week? I think we're supposed to smoke the Tatuaje Fasto FT-153, which I think will be a leaning house stick. That'll be a leaning house because okay. I don't have it. So the one thing we're going to have to do between now and then is make sure somebody gets it. You're going to we'll, see we'll, Dave on Saturday. Yeah, I will. It's going to be a, 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 a busy day. A little chaotic. Will be. What we need to do is pick the next four and give the list to Jason, who lives close, and we can... Uh, 10-4. We yeah, can look. work on getting the things and uh, having a great time next week. 9-30 every uh, Sunday morning. Facebook group. Hang out with us. Say the thing. Salud. He said it. He did.